So next paragraph. On another hand, when we research uh, our sages statement on uh, on this question, we found that the person who has uh, inclination to sin and desire to do so is on a higher, higher and more complete level than the one who has no desire for them and does not feel a discomfort uh, in uh, spurning them. Uh, they said that uh, however great a person is, his desire to sin in his discomfort is uh, spurning, sin will be greater. Okay, we will see. Indeed, uh, they illustrate this whether this principle be the stories and it's uh, and said one second whoever is greater whoever is greater than his colleague possesses the evil inclination that is greater than his and they said that, that the reward given to uh, for overcoming one's desire is commensurate with the discomfort uh, he felt in overcoming it and they said According to the, the discomfort is a reward, and they um, and they warn again, saying, "By nature, I have no desire to perform such a sin, even uh, even had it not been forbidden by the Torah." Okay, so let's uh, let's stop here. Let's stop here. We're going to back and uh, try to understand what it says here. It's very interesting. <clears throat> So, so Rambam continues. On another hand, when um, when uh, when when we research our sages' statement of this question, we found that a person who has a, an inclination to, to sin and desires to do so on, is on a higher level and more complete level than the one who does not have desire for them. For them, okay. Let, let, let's stop here. So Rambam is saying, but our sages say like. Uh, um, in some sense, a person who has desire, it does not act on, on, on these desires, so he's on a high level. So, uh, like for, for, for example, a person uh, uh, like, uh, like, uh, likes to, to eat not kosher for whatever reason. Let's say he tried once and he liked it and now he, he wants to, uh, to eat it again. But, but he works on himself. Other, and, and another person is uh, he disgusted for business from from these uh, shrimps or something right so so the, the in some sense that person who says I'm not going to eat it but uh, it's not because I don't like it it's not because I'm disgusted but I'm not going to eat it just because Hashem said so right so, okay I, I don't I don't have desire but I don't have desire not because it's disgusting but I don't have desire because Hashem said so so in this sense in this sense he's on a higher level that person who that does not like it that find it disgusting continue and does not feel discomfort inspiring them okay uh, they said that the, uh, they said that however great a person is his desire to sin in his and his discomfort in spreading the sin will be greater. So we have to understand, and some some people find it surprising. And I always say, like, uh, when when you go um, uh, when you go high, higher and higher spiritually, so your your eight sahara is going to grow with you, right? <laughs> Uh, so to counterbalance your your spirituality. So don't think just because you 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 start absorbing things and you you read books and you try to watch your eyes and this and that and I try you try to um, dress modestly and uh, watch your speech, watch uh, like uh, people that that you you are talking to and uh, right uh, and stuff like that. So don't don't think that that uh, Eitzachara is going to leave you alone. Opposite is true. It's going to be even stronger, even stronger. So with uh, your spiritual advancement, <laughs> the Eitzahara grows. So and if somebody is a great rabbi, or some tzaddik does not mean that he does not have Eitzahara. He does, and much, much uh, bigger than you, but he controls it, right? Okay. Um, continue. Indeed, they illustrate this with the principle, uh, with the principle, uh, with the stories. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Continue. Stories and said, whoever is greater than his colleague uh, possesses evil inclination that is greater than, than his. I would say greater in a in a spiritual level. So if somebody is uh, greater than his colleague, 
I, I, I made it in the, in the spiritual level, as we said, has a uh, bigger eight Sahara, for sure, for sure. Right, so don't don't think that that because uh, somebody is uh, achieve a high level, he's uh, like uh, temptations free. Absolutely not. And they uh, and okay, and they said that the, the reward given for overcoming one's desires is commensurate with discomfort he felt to overcoming it. And of course, the, the as uh, as they say here in Judaism, we have A for efforts. Right, so not all all the time you you're going to win, right? Uh, in whatever endeavors you are, but uh, but at least you try and you you put all of your efforts and you remember that outcome is up to Hashem, right? But uh, but the more you 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 try, the more you like uh, put all of this. Um, what is the word? Come on, uh, overcome, right? Okay, so uh, so the 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 reward is commensurate with a with a, with a fight, right? That you put on on uh, with these desires, for sure. So if if somebody does not have a desire, there is no the reward is not as bad, as big, not as big. Okay. And they said according to okay, and they said according to the uh, discomfort is a reward. Continue, and they weren't again saying. By nature, I have no desire to perform such a sin, <laughs> even had it not been forbidden by the Torah. Um, so we're going to see why is that. So a person say, yeah, but by nature, I don't have desire to perform this sin, even if it's not forbidden for the Torah. For example, people who were uh, born religious, so they see shrimps or seafood, they, they, they feel disgust, like uh, p- people eat this, uh, I don't know, all of, all of the things, right? So they, they feel disgust. So even they say, even if it would not be forbidden by the Torah, I would not eat it, like a pig or something, right? They would not eat it. So, so you say, don't say it. Okay. Why is that? So continue with the uh, next paragraph. Thus they quote, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel says, a person uh, should not say, it is impossible for me to eat milk and meat, it is impossible for me to wear shortness, or it's impossible for me to engage in forbidden sexual relations. Instead, he should say, it is possible for me, but uh, why should I do it? My Father in heaven decrees against it. So it's very, very important. So not uh, not to be prideful, right? And say, like, uh, it's impossible for me, right? So let's say one more time, we're going to explain one by one. Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel said, a person should not say it is impossible for me to me to eat milk uh, and meat together. Okay, how, how do you know the whole world is eating and they uh, they have these uh, cheeseburgers and uh, they pay I don't know more for cheeseburger and stuff like that, right? Uh, and it's uh, in the it, uh, Italian kitchen, in uh, French kitchen, they have all of, all of the mixes, uh, meat and milk, and it's uh, people pay top dollars to eat the, these dishes. So. So many, it's it's not disgusting. So why say it's uh, it's impossible for you, right? Maybe if you try once, you, you would not be able to stop, right? So it is impossible for me to wear sharpness. So how, how do you know that, that you don't have sharpness? So I, I think I, I I heard the report some of the, they found uh, sharpness is uh, this uh, what is it Uggs or something like uh, these boots? It's unbelievable. So in, uh, who knew? I don't know why would they have shutness there, but uh, that's a big issue. So I, I think it's not fixable. If if it's in a jacket, for example, like uh, um, even like I don't know why why, why would somebody fix it, even even a jacket? I'm, I'm not sure how they how much they they would charge. It's it's easier the way I see it. It's easier just go uh, go and buy a new jacket, right? Then uh, try try to fix the old one. Okay. Where sharpness, so you don't know wherever the sharpness is, or it is impossible for me to engage in forbidden sexual ways. So how do you know, right? Uh, don't uh, right? You never know. Instead, he should say it is possible for me, right? So he said, yeah, I I am only a human. I, I if it's possible that has uh, to but it's possible that uh, even I can fall, right? But what well, right? But what should I do? My father in heaven decrees against it. So 
the, the, the only reason I don't do it, not because they're bad, because other people uh, around the world, uh, from, from the nations of the world, they enjoy this. All of these things, uh, all of them, <laughs> from, from, from the whole list, right? So, and, uh, and I don't do it only not because it's disgusting, so, so some of the things are, but, uh, uh, but, uh, but because my father in heaven said so. So it's uh, like totally different perspectives. So on, on, on one hand, the person is humbling himself. On another, he said, I'm not going to cross this line because his father in heaven. Mm -hmm.